Good afternoon, Miss Rona. Good afternoon. Okay, Miss Rona, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Rona Bonetti, 27 years old. Um, I have, I have, I have a, I have a six sisters and two brothers. And my father's, my father's was a speaker and my mother was a dentist vendor. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer. So let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to help my family and I want to also help my children to finish their studies. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because I have Malaysia is a good country. How are you qualified for this job? Because I have a hard work and more skills. May I know what is your education level is? What is your recent working experience? My recent working experience and last one as a supervisor. Okay, have you worked abroad before? Yes. Can you please add tell the place and how many years or once you work for? I was employed in two, in two months only. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, mother. And whose baby or children you are taking care of? My sister's baby and my niece. Okay. What about elder or older people? Do you have experience? I don't have experience, but I learned. Uh, pardon, Ms. Rona? I, I don't have experience, but I have a time to learn how to take care of it. Okay, so you don't have uh, experience, but are you willing to take care? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. May I know uh, what special skills do you have? Like, teaching a children. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, mother. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relative stay together? Yes, mother. Currently, are you still working now? No, mother. Do you know how to cook? Yes, mother. What sort of food can you cook? It's only Philippine food. It is only Philippine food. Can you please okay. tell me what Filipino food that you can cook? And like adobo, sukapa, and then fritos, and then madam. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, madam. From all the house chores or household work, such as cooking, cleaning, earning, and washing, which do you like most? I am mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, mother. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, mother. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, mother. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing or using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, mother. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, mother. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? I'm loyal, kind, hardworking, and faithful. 
How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Because I want to work in Malaysia to my family. Okay, but how can we assure that you will work hard in Malaysia? Okay, how can you assure that you will work hard in Malaysia? I I assure I work in Malaysia because I want to help my family and my sister, madam. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, have you suffered from any serious illness? No, Do you smoke? No, have you undergone any operation? No, Are you medically fit? Yes. Are you in any medication? No, madam. Are you allergic with any food? No, madam. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? No, madam. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, madam. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, madam. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, madam. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Rona, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I continue my contract. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I want to work, I want to work in Malaysia because I want to, to spend money and I want to I want to help my family and my, my sister and also my sister. Okay, Ms. Rona, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Rona. We will update your agency if there's any selection made with the employer.